So, uh, hey, uh, my name is Valdas, and I will be will be playing uh, the league uh, legacy and probably uh, the first thing that is relevant is oops, uh, let's try and fit the screen okay so uh, I will be playing uh, lands and this is the list I'm currently testing basically the des the deck uh, consists of a few uh, parts uh, first of all it's uh, try to figure out how I can fit this all into my monitor so I could see the chat uh, so first of all there's mana which is basically fetch lens sent some duels and a single basic some mana acceleration mox diamonds and exploration Wind conditions, which are uh, mostly to the dark depths and to Tespian stage, uh, a secondary wind condition in, um, and protection for the main wind condition in Mishra's factory. Then there's utility lands such as Academy Ruins, Pojuka Bog, uh, and such. Uh, now things that are part of the lock pieces and stuff that prevents us from losing are uh, wastelands, uh, the tabernacle which is a great creature control coupled with wastelands, mm -hmm. Rishadon port as a mana denial, uh, triple grove and triple punishing fire for creature control, maze of it for the same, glacial chasm as the oh shit button and uh, something that some decks in the main deck have no answers for uh, mm -hmm. a single Caracas mm -hmm. for reanimator decks, uh, mm -hmm. a singleton chalice, which is surprisingly mm -hmm. nice because it uh, lets me answer things that like swords to plowshares, sometimes even uh, death right, and uh, multiple decks uh, you have serious problems dealing with it in the main deck, and for me, in the usually I set it on mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. and uh, the only cards in my deck that cost one are explorations and it's rare that I would play one in the late game then there's a couple of engineered explosives mm -hmm. which can be recovered with academy ruins mm -hmm. uh, to create a, some kind of a soft lock uh, then there are card advantage things first of all it's uh, the land advantage, crucible and life from the loam uh, which allow to uh, easily uh, recur uh, the wind conditions, the wastelands mm -hmm. uh, sometimes even just ram the mana with fetchlands and such uh, there are two cycle lands that uh, help speed up the engine, draw extra cards or sometimes mm -hmm. save life from the mm -hmm. loam from uh, some cards I can't really fit my uh, yeah this deck needs more dinos I'll give me a second to fix my screen somehow chat tends to disappear when I move it away and then there's uh, Double Tolari West is a recurrable tutor uh, with life from the low you can tutor up uh, any land in the deck, Mox Diamond and both Chalice mm -hmm. and Engineered Explosives. Then there are Sylvan Libraries which is the newest thing I'm testing uh, and Triple Intuition which lets us set up some really sweet piles. Uh, for example you can uh, uh, fetch for uh, Academy Ruins, Crucible and Wasteland 
well, uh, Academy Ruins, Crucible and Life from the Loam and you're guaranteed to have them all same goes for uh, uh, can't really get it alright, uh, same goes for cards like uh, Sorry, I can't really get this right to be able to view chat on my second monitor. Uh, and intuition can uh, get me... Oh, I dropped one accidentally. Uh, intuition lets us get files such as uh, Punishing Fire, Life from the Loam, uh, Grove of the Burn Willows and similar which are just great multi-tool uh, solutions to most of the problems. Uh, the main issue in comparison with the traditional red green lands uh, decks is that uh, well uh, this deck is much slower uh, it's not uh, ready to go full-on combo unlike uh, the traditional red green lists uh, and uh, can't really get the correct size of this and uh, just uh, the problem that combo decks are even worse than for red green lands uh, in exchange for that this deck has way more tools and uh, uh, in some situations better tutors in intuition unlike uh, than gamble uh, Gamble is great for finding that single card when you have uh, multiple cards in hand. Intuition can set up you basically a whole win condition with Fly from the Loam, Tespian Stage, Dark Depths, or something like that. Sideboard is kind of experimental. Uh, the experimental part right now is Double Warping Whale as a way to help the deck a little bit against show and tell and similar decks but i'm not even sure if it's worth it uh, then there are cross and grips uh, tireless trackers as a backup card advantage engine because usually everyone sides in uh, graveyard hate uh, surgical extractions for line from the loam and such uh, two more chalices for combo matchups and delver matchups and there are sphere of resistance to hurt all the uh, fast decks uh, and low mana decks a single tonsura orb is just a solution mm -hmm. for burn decks i mm -hmm. haven't really faced any yet uh, uh, in the leagues but i know they are there and the ancient tomb is there when you, the deck needs to race uh, to get stuff faster mm -hmm. on board which is basically combo matchups and such so uh, let's go for the league and let's see what we can get here meanwhile i'll try to fix to find a way to see chat and everything but i can't really get it right uh, my secondary monitor is quite small so there's an issue uh, okay so let's hope we'll get the match soon enough and till then well uh, oftentimes sideboarding involves some number of cross and grips uh, and this deck uh, probably the weird part could seem the bayou because it's not really uh, something you'd expect uh, in a deck that doesn't really need the black mana however it's a fetchable way to get the fourth colored mana for engineered explosives and sometimes it's necessary to deal with permanents like chase okay so i'm on the draw i have uh Turn 1 Exploration and Chalice, which seems pretty good. So this is a hand that definitely deserves keeping. Uh, one solution, one thing that's not really traditional uh, in these uh, decks 
is uh, life and bloom is a great draw here is that I play zero uh, crop rotations and this is mostly uh, because I kind of wanted to maximize my chalice and I wanted a recurring card advantage engine which uh, crop rotation isn't of course again I lose some uh, speed but I'm, I think I, I'm ready to deal with that so I have no idea what I'm playing against but my plan still involves uh, turn one well involved turn one uh, chalice but uh, if they counter the exploration removing the taxon program I think it's uh, safe to say that it's uh, some kind of a delver deck most likely Grixis delver because that's the thing you see the most on magic online so here we'll draw an extra card just to see what we can get Wasteland and cast chalice. If they don't have an answer here, uh, I would say that we do have some advantage. Assuming this is a Delver deck, which it probably is, there's a low chance that uh, with what they started, that this is. Uh, Okay, this may not be a Delver deck. It's likely that it is a uh, sneak and show of sorts, which would be really bad news for me, as that matchup is close to unwinnable. So let's record some lands. There's little use, I think, in cycling ticket immediately. So let's get another land down. And again, if this is a show and tell deck, uh, I can just. The only thing I can do is hope that uh, they don't have uh, anything anytime soon. But I'm probably dead here. This is either a show and tell deck or a high tide deck, which both are um, something like 9, 10, 19 matchups, I would say. I would need my chalice on free in this matchup. Yeah, sneak and show. Of sorts. So I need to draw uh, engineered explosives, I think. Yeah, just cycle as much as we can. Port is a fine card, but it doesn't really get us anywhere. I want to draw cards. Uh, okay, so this is something. I can transmute Tolaria West, get explosives for zero and play it. I could try going for the combo, but it's uh, way too slow with what they are doing. Or I can also get. Uh, Caracas here. So let's go with explosives.
I think we'll wait to see what they're intentioning for before cracking explosives, but again, this is a really bad matchup and I don't expect to win the, a game before sideboarding. After sideboarding it won't be any easier. Triple Grisselbrand. So... Now the question is, do I go for explosives? I think I do because there is not much I can do. And let's just pass the turn. Yep, show and tell, show and tell in Grisselbrand. Drawing a shit ton of cards and killing me next turn. I did not cycle my land there. I should have cycled. Uh, What I will do here is just get Caracas and bounce Grisselbrand, but I think this game is already over. They can draw more cards, go down to 5 and I'm probably next, uh, dead next turn. So it's a sneak attack, it's also likely that they have something like uh, Blood Moon post sideboard. All I can do is hope that they completely bricked of these draws. This is likely a show and tell for omniscience, which wins the game on spot. No, sneak attack. So, red source, emerald, lotus petal, that's enough. Uh, so, we're siding in Warping Whales, Ancient Tomb, Cross and Grips and Trackers, Chalices and Spheres. So basically all we can. Explosives are not good here. Bonfires are bad. I'm keeping just one to have uh, an extra. Uh, Glacio uh, does basically nothing because they draw the cards, they attack with Emrakul and I have to sacrifice permanent so even if I win a single turn I'm dead next turn because there's nothing I can do. I'm left with Glacial and maybe another permanent and they can repeat the same next turn pretty unless they draw something completely bad but that doesn't really happen much. I think I can lower the number of mazes. Tabernacle is useless here. Hey Victor, uh, Wasteland is bad. Uh, this is a really abysmal matchup. I don't even know what I want. Intuitions are probably fine, I want them. Operation, Smog's Diamonds. I don't want to go lower than 30 lands, I think, so I can cut one Grove. Uh, Bojuka Ball because they don't really use uh, Graveyard. <laughs> now, from these cards. Uh, 
I can cut another explosives one intuition oh, it's really rough to find something to cut I think I'll go with the punishing fire it doesn't really kill anything relevant So post sideboard I'm looking for something uh, explosive and fast because uh, I don't really have any time to be slow in the matchup. So what we will be doing is turn 1 chalice, turn 2 uh, intuition for combo pieces and uh, combo F as soon as possible. So the first thing we are doing is getting Tespian stage, I want to keep Caracas in my hand to put it into play uh, of their show and tell in case they get it early. Because I want my Caracas untapped if possible. The mulligan that increases my chances here. Uh, next turn, I think I will be putting Caracas into play. Uh, so, uh, chalice here, uh, I can go, go with uh, two ways with the chalice. Uh, one way I can uh, I can chalice uh, for zero now, uh, preventing their lotus petals from showing up and winning out of nowhere. Another way I can be optimistic and hope to ramp up to six mana and then put chalice on three into the into play, which would be preferable but I don't think I have time here so I'm playing chalice for zero basically here I'm just doing everything I can to win as much time as possible I will go for intuition at the end of turn uh, it could get fluster storm which would be the worst case scenario uh, but I should be aiming for uh, Dark Depths, uh, Wasteland and Loam I think. So one card that I'm definitely getting is Wasteland, another is Combo Piece and Dark Depths. And the last one is Loam because I need to get those back. Uh, I I'm not susceptible to uh, to surgical here, which is great. Bosseu is isn't really scary because uh, I don't have chalice on free yet. Okay, so. Here I can go two ways, I can uh, loan back some lands and start wastelanding them, uh, but if loan gets countered I'm probably in some trouble, although it's unlikely it will be countered. Or I can go dark depths and just hope that they... Uh, don't have a way to win this turn and uh, basically uh, the only way they can is by getting show and tell into omniscience and then casting Emrakul off it. So the basic thing I'm choosing between here is uh, do I get uh, disruption in form of wasteland and pour it back into my hand 
but risk to losing to uh, counter spell if they have it or I can go for the combo as soon as possible and then I'm losing to well an unlikely scenario on their side the thing uh, is that the unlikely scenario isn't so unlikely because they didn't really do much of course there's a hopeful chance that uh, all they have is one mana card. I think I should go and risk it uh, because, well, in this matchup I don't have time. I don't like that they gave me Dark Depths into my hand, which basically indicates that they uh, think they can deal with it. No, they can't. That's great. So we need another uh, great start like this. Uh, I probably want my fourth wasteland back and I want to cut something that doesn't really do much. I really don't want to cut my colored sources. I kind of want uh, an engineer that explosives back, but it's unlikely that it will help. So I will cut one grove. Because if they're sided in uh, Bosiju, that means uh, their non base account has increased post sideboard. Of course, there's unlike an unlikely scenario that they uh, play Bosiju in the main deck, but somehow I don't think that's the case. Uh, in this matchup I have to aggressively mulligan, uh, this hand doesn't really cut it, I don't really interact anytime soon, I don't have combo, this would be a great hand against slow decks. This is great provided I draw a land. So let's keep, scry a land to the top. And this is a turn one spear and chaps. Unless they counter mouse diamond, of course. I think I'll have to go for Sphere Turn 1, but it's a consideration, well let's see what they do. Well, opponent seems to be thinking as well, which is nice. <sighs> Let's get a blue-green source. And let's go for Mox Diamond. Discarding Ghost Quarter and now it's a decision. I can go Chalice for zero and Sphere Or I can go Chalice for one or just the Sphere If uh, It's either Chalice for zero and Sphere or Sphere I think because there's a chance of them just casting show until next turn So let's go for maximum hate. The downside here is that I will not uh, really be able to do anything anytime soon. And if they have something like spell pierce here, yep. In any case, I think it was worth the risk. 
now we need to draw a new sphere or a, another chalice would be nice uh, untapped mana source for tracker would be nice probably I'd prefer some kind of hate card Wasteland would be nice too. Life from the long deaths, pretty good. Now we go for another mana source. Do I need a red? Not really, but. Tropical, then Exploration, and then Ghost Quarter. Now the question is, uh, do I quarter, but I don't really want to give them a free shuffle after brainstorm. And I do think they should be running a single ton mountain. And this is where we might just be dead. Okay, uh, I need to top deck one of the very few cross and grips. Caracas would be fine, I think. So I cannot lie from the loan. And I'm probably dead here. I can do is just hope they don't have more red sources. They probably have one in their hand, but well, okay, we're that. Should I even try to play further? I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm not dead yet, but it's unlikely that I survive more, but I mean, sometimes miracles happen. Let's see if they have another creature and scoop them. Oh, intuition. Yep, that does. So, sneak and show it's the first loss. I can't really complain, I stole a game here, I took some risk and risks in the second. Mm, I could have played it the other way and tried to chalice for one. But in the end... It's probably as close as a match as one can expect in this matchup. I'm not really supposed to win it in any case. And there isn't really much I can do uh, in the sideboard. I could add, add some piping needles or uh, 
sorcerer spy glasses, but it's a stretch. Uh, the GP is uh, March 9th, 11th uh, in Madrid. It's team constructed, and I will be playing uh, Legacy. So at the moment, this is my choice of the deck. I'm just testing various configurations. And Warping Whales and Silver Libraries are basically the cards that are the most questionable. Okay, Julian is a uh, best elves player <laughs> known in uh, Europe at least, probably in the whole world. So there is a good chance we're playing against elves. Which means we'll have to go for Talaria West and next turn I will probably uh, be casting the Tabernacle. Yep, that's Elves. So let's make Dryad pay for itself and cast explosives for one to prevent them from overextending to win as much time as possible if i can get uh, my ghost quarter down and crucible them out of the game it's a possibility in general so far elves have been a good matchup but uh, i'm pretty sure the quality of the players previously wasn't as high as this time they can ramp a bit but they don't have uh, an answer to the tabernacle one card that's really good here is uh, glacial chasm but i don't have it yet In the perfect world I could set up a Glacial Chasm lock and sit behind it for a zillion turns. They can do some explosive shit but... Uh, Um, usually Shaman of the Pack isn't played, uh, on some occasions you can see it as a one-off, but I don't think it's a traditional part of the lists. Uh, we can explosives here soon. But let's see where they are going with this. Usually elves win just with a large crater hoof. So one, two mana. So at this point, I'm pretty sure what we're going for here is uh, uh, Can they get anything that's really scary? Uh, yeah, the one that makes mana So at this moment, uh, we'll be playing uh, A game of who blinks first basically they will be trying to uh, get enough creatures on the table to make me uh, go for the explosives but not too much not too many to be really hurt for it despian stage and ghost quarter i think i want the quarter here and give them a chance to pay up. Uh, 
it's unfortunate that I don't really have anything so, so they are paying for these free but they aren't really advancing their board much what I need to do here is to prevent them from getting up to 4 mana because Crater Hoof could just kill me out of nowhere other than that uh, I don't mind them, them chipping in for some damage I have Ghost Quarter for uh, their Cradle in case they play it I don't really mind them having some lands in play. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind drawing something useful. I think I need to keep up two mana for the explosives. So it's Thespian stage to have a win in case I draw Dark Depths and pass. They can't really advance the board much. have some mana. Sentinel is yet another one mana creature. Rangers is fine. Yep, that's the Julian. Oh, that's Cradle incoming here, so I have to go for the explosives. Uh, good draw would be uh, exploration followed by something good. Uh, I wouldn't mind drawing. Probably life from the loam would be fine. Punishing fire would be great. Uh, another explosives would be fine. So they will probably get the basic forest here. I think no, they are going for the cradle. So let's first see what do we draw here. Okay, uh, what can I do here? I can go for the Cradle and Chalice for one, I think. I cannot get Crucible as well. I can Crucible and double Ghost Quarter, but I don't think it's time for that yet. Or I can Crucible and Chalice, but then they pay up. Hmm. 
maybe crucible and chalice is a plan here then we can start ghost quartering them next turn they can have two four and four mana five mana five mana my and that's two creatures i'm not dying to crater hoof next turn so i will be going for the crucible and then chalice so you asked about a good a good draw here and i think chalice is probably one of the better ones i could have gotten there's a risk they will deal me some damage uh julian is well if you don't follow the legacy scene uh, you might have seen his streams uh, but he's basically the world's number one expert for elves he does stream sometimes um rarely nowadays but he used to do it more often previously but if you're basically if you're willing to learn play uh elves combo in legacy julian is someone you should probably learn from so let's see what they have here Crater Hoof isn't really scary, I can get Maze next turn. Unless it's Progenus. Okay, our Reclamation Sage is... Yep. Now I wouldn't mind the Punishing Fire. Explosives. Ghost Quarter of the Cradle Get the Quarter back Quarter of Forest Oh shit Yeah Well, at least he will be losing one of those creatures I punted here Let's get ex explosives down. Okay, now sideboarding. We have heavy sideboard for elves. Um, I don't think I need cross and grip here. Warping whale is slowish. I'll think about it. I can drop two life from the loams. I can drop a singleton intuition because it's slow. I'll add one tracker because it's likely that they will have surgicals or something like that. Caracas is fine, mazes are fine, port is fine. Uh, Bog is unnecessary. Um, buy is unnecessary because I'm not trying to get uh, explosives up to 4 I think I can easily drop warping veils and then I can get go down to 33 lands so let's see what can we drop here mazes are good Groves are great, Glacial Chasm is a necessary evil here. Quarter is fine, Forest is good, Academy Ruins is great. I think I can cut one cycle end, the slower one. Hmm. 
<laughs> Probably one maze as well. Ancient Tomb is basically for earlier Chalice, earlier Sphere of Resistance. Uh, it's sided in, in the matchups where I need to do something as soon as possible. Because if I skip my first few turns dwelling and trying to do something, I don't get anywhere and I simply lose. Also in the Elves matchup my life total isn't that important because usually if I gain control of the board... Oh, this is a weird hand. I really want to draw a land here, but I cannot really pass up on this hand. They should be fetching basic forest and wirewood symbiote. Ah. I need to do this and I hope I can get uh, another land to cast Crucible and then I can get my Tabernacle back. But for now it's kind of a necessary thing, necessary evil to discard it. Yeah, those are the cards I would expect. There's, it's likely that they will not, he will not side in Fort Caesars. But other than that, yep. I think I sh if I don't draw anything, I will. Uh, and if he doesn't play any elf worth one firing, I will cast a backup chalice on one. Despian stage, so. Mm, there are multiple things I can do here. But I think the correct choice is to pass and intuition at the end of turn. Or pun fire if there's a need. So there is a decay. No, this card is bad. So I will not have a tabernacle. And now I have to think good what I should be getting here. In any case, there's Grove. Uh, wasteland. And I need a third option that would steer them away from exiling my tabernacle. In any case, I'm probably casting Punishing Fire here. So the third choice of a card, I could go for a Punishing Fire and hope that they will be tempted to get rid of it. This looks like a reasonable choice. So, uh, what are the scenarios? They give me growth, I pun fire the ooze, they get rid of the tabernacle, uh, I can pun fire symbiote as well. They give me wasteland, I can pun fire ooze and play chalice. 
they give me punishing fire that's probably the worst case scenario but then i still cast punishing fire so punishing fire is the card i want the least in this scenario i have thespian stage i mean i could go for dark depths Yeah, let's just go for it and make them choose even if they go off next turn which is not very likely with three cards in the hand uh, they also have to go off rather seriously to be able to overcome a 2020 blocker so it's likely that they will uh, put depths in the graveyard and get rid of it when I pawn fire the ooze so in either scenario I'm casting pawn fire and chalice on one or uh, getting dark depths already Exploration is nice for future use. Uh, they should probably exile Grove here. No, Tabernacle goes away. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Oh, I don't really want to cast Chalice now. That's the thing. I want to cast Exploration and Wasteland them. This increases my chances of accidentally dying, but uh, it makes my next turn much better. So this is a value glimpse, which I'm fine with. So it's Crucible, which results in wastelanding the bayou and playing Grove, getting Bonfire back. really know what they should could draw here to win but it's always a likelihood okay that's one way can they kill me here if I might just be dead no So how much damage am I taking? Okay, I played too uh, carelessly here. So they get plus four plus four, let's say, and Nine plus six plus five. I'm dead if they have it. Okay, I, I think I played carelessly here. I could have pun fired wire with symbiote or cast chalice on one instead of exploration. Or crucible, or just wastelanding them to oblivion. Well. 
what is it they have that we're waiting for? If they have natural order, they should be casting it here and killing me on spot. So, unless uh, they are lagging, that's not it. If they have. What else they have? If they have green sun zenith, they should probably go for the elf that kills crucible. Oh, this is another option. Minus six gives the emblem so they can draw some extra. Okay. Do I have enough mana for everything? They can save one elf and hit me for another five. Okay, so I have five mana, I can pun fire wire with symbiote and explosives. I could have played tracker. I can cast explosives for one and then chalice which I think is the line Nissa gets a permanent back. Uh, one mana elf isn't really changing much. A land doesn't really get them. So they can save one elf and then I'm placing chalice on one. Uh, whom did they return? Quarian Ranger. Quirion Ranger isn't coming back. I can hit for be hit for another five, but then I'm uh, playing the depths. I'm making my Lage and that should be enough. taking a while but they have two cards that could present with some options this uh, gives quite a few options to regrow so I'm getting misty back Zine for one. Which elf will it be? Okay, death right. So here I'm just. Making Merit Lage. Returning Thespian Stage from the graveyard. 
and uh, burning the death right. This league is going quite slow. I don't really think they have an out here, but you'll never know. They could have something, could be playing something ridiculous like ensnaring bridge, but I don't think that's likely. Nissa Vital Force is a standard tech. Uh, Abrupt Decay doesn't really get them anywhere. Surgical is useless. Fortis is useless. Uh, scavenging Goose can't really gain them free life in any case. So I think I should be winning this game. But the waiting is the longest part. I wouldn't mind, Julian, um, making decisions faster here, but if he has something that might give him a chance, then it's correct to uh, consider all the options here. Just to get my matchup percentage in the league so far, I'm at 55% win rate and elves are free and all so far should be 4 and 0 soon. The most surprising thing in the league so far is that I can't really seem to get the sideboarding for Grixis Delver matchup right. I lost 4 matches in the row. Mm, Ant is a bad matchup. Uh, I managed to get one win against the Blood Moon deck. Um, well, it doesn't really get them anywhere, I think. If, if they bring back Ooze, play a land, uh, what else can they achieve there? They need to gain free life to survive a turn. I don't really see a way who could get them there. Especially when there are only two unknown cards in their hand and the furthest one they cannot play. Can't seem to see the. Uh, uh, well, the problem with this plan is that uh, Nissa brings Us back to uh, the hand, not uh, battlefield directly. So they cannot uh, get free mana and eat a creature. Besides, even if they could get do that, uh, I can uh, grow back the pun fire and hit them for the remaining two. I think I uh, yeah. 
yeah, I think I have it, but I'm still mad at myself for giving him the chance there where he, if he had uh, Natural Order instead of Nissa, I would be playing game free right now. Yeah, so he just wrote in the chat that he was away for a moment. And that's it, so we're up to 4 and 0 against Elves, and let's go for another match. I'm removing this to another screen. I'm not yet sure if I like this list. Uh, Sometimes I miss crop rotations, especially the part where they help uh, uh, in some sensitive situations like getting wastelanded or having instant combo, but having extra drawing power in Sylvan Library is pretty good. Uh, let's look at this hand. Uh, they are playing first, that's a problem. This is a slow hand, uh, although I have a card advantage engine in Intuition and Crucible. Protection in Maze and Punfire. And again, uh, if they are a fast combo deck uh, or something like Dredge, which seems to be likely, or Reanimator. Um, well, Dredge excluded, if they are Reanimator or something like that, I'm not really winning the first game. Uh, it seems to be the more. So, this is a card we're not playing. Dark Confident. Okay, so it's not Mirror. Uh, it's uh, what's it called? Uh, Agro Loam deck. Which is similar in some ways. It utilizes uh, um, plants, uh, recurring uh, stuff, but it also has Knight of Reliquary. Which might be a real bitch here. So they can start wasting us out next turn. Let's go for a blue green land and crucible, I think. I don't need to deal with the knight immediately, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. I already need to deal with the knight immediately. <laughs> so here I need explosives for free. Oh. <laughs> I failed here. Damn it. I wanted to uh go for the uh second tropical and transmute for uh Four, 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 four. Uh, mm, engineered explosives, but now I think we'll go for the 
exploration. I could actually go for the wasteland. But no. Exploration into Misty Rainforest. Pass the turn. See, uh, this here is yet another great advantage of uh, this land deck in comparison to others. Uh, in comparison to traditional red green list, is that this list pretty much ignores Chalice for one, which the other lists cannot. So let's get Taiga. <laughs> okay. Uh, explosives then I can play yet another land so I'll keep explosives for the next turn to avoid dying uh, now the question is do I want to loan back these lands or do I want to keep factory up I think I really want to keep factory up just in case of them drawing life from the loam or something yeah yet another night no something for four months this could be an Elspeth or something like that This grows their night significantly. So that's I assume that's an Elspeth. Or Green Sun Zenith. Trying to figure out what they could have here that would punish me for Whatever. Basically at this point it matters uh, how much of a threat uh, that thing whatever they are getting there is because I'm yeah sure I don't really mind this and I can deal with their knights next turn if they are wastelanding this is fine as well they can't cut me off the third color <laughs> um, this is probably the worst choice they could do uh, they saw my explosives and yeah that's a okay so we definitely don't need chalice here <laughs> I can cut at least one or two life from the looms um, trackers are great here I think I want a couple of grips and an ancient tomb because this is a matchup where we will be racing it's very likely at the very least uh, as for the rest I think I want less dark depths 
Bonfire is great, all these cards I like. Um, Rifadon port is, I think, one of the worst things here. I want to be wastelanding them, not porting. Tabernacle is fine. Tolari is fine, although it might be difficult to activate here. Caracas is fine. Glacial Chasm is probably bad because I just assumed that the deck with Wastelands should have a way to deal with it. Maybe I sided out too many loams here. This is fine, I think. Of course, uh, if they turn one chalice. Uh, I won't like it. And it seems to be the case. No. So let's go for exploration and Bojuka Bog. I don't really want them recurring uh, too much and we can always wasteland our own Bojuka Bog and get some stuff done. Liliana is annoying. So I think we are discarding maze here. And here we are playing factory into tracker into wasteland. Uh, I'd love to wasteland my opponent here, but I want to keep uh, my mistress factory up. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Good night. Uh, I want to keep my mistress factory up in case they minus Liliana. This is one of the worst things they could have drawn here. I think they should have Wasteland at uh, Mishra's Factory first. Now I need to deal with the Excavator in some way. Or I might just get Wastelanded out of the game soon. Uh, I don't mind if they champ, if they don't, they lose Liliana. So now the question is, do I want to Mox Diamond or Maze? I could Wasteland them. But that doesn't really get me anywhere. So let's just continue drawing. Ah, that's probably the worst draw I could get. And that's the worst draw they could get for me. Now I'm obliged to pun fire the Liliana, but I need an answer for Excavator as soon as possible. <laughs> That's not really a solution. Excavator is kind of a weak spot for this list. Psst. 
Confident is bad. They can wasteland us again. Okay, so now I need to uh, draw a life from the loan. And then I can get rid of their graveyard, which would be the perfect scenario for me here. And this is probably the worst scenario. I'm just adding an exploration to the board. So for the next game... Because I don't really think I'm winning this one. Next game, I will be. Is this the f no ley line? Yeah, it's not really fine, but I can't really prevent it. Still want a life on the loan to have a fighting chance. Grove isn't doing much, but I have to go for it. and kill their confidant just to stand a chance some chance so I need to be ready for Lilianas and Ramonap excavators having reasonable draws again that's yet another turn where life from the loan can give me a fighting chance so let's get a maze drop walk They can fetch another wasteland with uh, the Knight of the Reliquary, so I'm not really optimistic here. But this gives me uh, another turn or two to draw something. That's an option too. So the wasteland, my Jukabog or Maze. I'm not sure I can draw anything that still helps me. I'm just getting wastelanded out of the game here. Yeah, no. So now with the information I have, these aren't really doing much, but I think assembling the combo as soon as possible would be nice. And maze is not really what I want here. I do want some recurring card advantage on the table as soon as possible. Preferably library uh, or tracker. Again, multiple Lilianas are problematic to say the least. So let's see if they have a ley line. If they have a ley line, this hand is much worse than it seems. Okay, no Leila. That's good. So we'll go for the exploration, the Mishra's factory, and keep the rest in the hand.
Chalice for zero. Blind. Chalice for zero. That's a heck of a play. Start beating them down. I wouldn't mind drawing some card advantage. Triple Mox Diamond really hurts. Okay, red source please. really say that's a huge issue if they will continue discarding uh, they can just hit my mox diamonds okay life from the loam on their side is a problem well at the very least they're not uh, They aren't, uh, they do not have a wasteland yet. Yet. They have Grove, Verdant, and Cobble Pit. Cobble Pit, okay, that's an interesting choice. Yeah, they can get to it faster. Car doesn't really hurt hurt me here. I just hope they don't have a creature, and I can get to their Liliana sooner. Have mana to activate it. Hmm. That was an interesting line. So now I need to find a way to kill them before they wasteland me out. for two seriously I mean this is like magical Christmas land for me doesn't really get me anywhere. 
and they connect with cable bits so yeah so we'll just stay put for now um Okay, so now they will be dealing one damage per turn for me, but uh, I'm not cross and gripping their chalice anytime soon. I should have probably blocked with the Mishra's factory here. Okay, life from the loam uh, is an interesting option, but at the moment their lands are better than mine. So pass. I think I can trade my Mishra's factory for their Cabal Pit and Riot Arbor. If they are making a mistake, I'm just saving my Mishra's factory here and now I'm ahead in the race I can now play this spin stage and copy my Mishra's factory at the end of their turn Or if they decide to wasteland it. Now this is a problem. Um, this is our opponent making a mistake here. their lands are better but uh, if I can play two lands per turn in comparison to their single land and if I can turn on punishing fire I can kill the Ramuna excavator I think I should go for cross and grip here. Hmm. So now if I go for Mishra's factory and attack. If they block. I need free mana for cross and grip. One to it. Okay, this is for attacking, this is free mana for cross and grip, this is for, yeah, that should be enough. Now what? Now the question is... Uh, actually, can I do it? I cross and grip the chalice. I wasteland my own bajuka bog. I loam it back and hit their graveyard so that's free mana okay that's free mana that's for loan so one two three for grip one two for loan 
Yeah, this works. I can basically render their excavator to and their life from the loam to nothing. Unless they have something like surgical, of course. Um, I think I want maze here. Okay, Liliana, Leyline. Leyline is bad. They are quite brave to attack here. So now I do not loam. I continue drawing and hope to hit something good. Should have kept maze of it to untap it. Say we wasteland riot arbor and we swing in with double factory. And I can maze one. This is fine by now. I can actually hit them for free. Yeah. For four actually. And if they block I can... Uh, Mace the ever Mishra back and pump the one they blocked. I want to keep it untapped to uh be able to turn it into a basic if they try to wasteland. Okay, that's nice. Long didn't hit anything good. The best they can do is to replay Triad Arbor. Knuckles fine. I don't really need it, but it's fine.
let's play Caracas. I don't need to keep more lands in my hand. They hit the wasteland. And Dryad Arbor. The good thing is they cannot play both. If they hit that other Mishra's factory, I'm in a bit of a trouble. So I can get them down to 5. Then we need to find some solution. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. I'm so, so stupid here. Okay, they made a mistake as well. They did not need to play Dryad Arbor, they just needed to wasteland my Mishra's factory and that's it. So now I'm hoping to draw a wasteland myself, just to uh, get another hit in, or another fun fire. This is actually a really fine grindy matchup. I already lost uh, the, what they, what kind of lands they have in their hand. So black green patch, wasteland, and what did they return in the pre storm wasteland and dryad arm. So there's probably some, uh, yeah I have 6 minutes left but this is uh, the third game. At the moment my opponent is the one who's in trouble. So there's Garuk Relentless in their deck, Ramon of Excavator. They're probably swearing at themselves for playing Dryad Arbor because I made a mistake and gave them a chance to get rid of my Thespian stage. I kinda hope I draw another. Uh, I wouldn't mind something like Dark Depths probably because they clearly don't have an answer yet. Okay, they lost connection to the game. I'm off to uh, get some uh, 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 uh. I'm off to get uh, myself another cup of coffee. I will be back in a moment. Hopefully, a point will reconnect till then. They're back. Kinda hope they did not get to anything like cycle lands or stuff like that. And their hand should consist of random unnecessary things. Maybe another decay or something like that. So I don't want to pun fire Dryad Arbor just yet. I want to keep my pun fire as long as I can. 
uh, they might play a dark confidant or something like that Sylvan Library is a great draw. Um, I'll play a fetch land here. No, I hope they don't have another de abrupt decay in their hand. Tap the factory. Cast Silver Library and hope they don't have a basic, uh, an abrupt decay or something else that deals with the with it. They are dredging. They got Caracas. That's something to keep in mind. Long. So there's Arbor Caracas. I think the Sylvan Library is a, was a great draw here. Another Despin stage, that's fine. So, yes. Don't use it, don't use it. So put on top, put on top, uh, activate the factory, or rather the Thespian stage, get the hit in. Just not forget to crack the misty. Despin stage. I think they should stop uh, dredging and just start uh, doing something more relevant. I really dislike their choice here. Okay, so let's go tropical and let's make another factory. kind of winning us the game here unless they have something yep got it that was a really great match I would say I really enjoyed it so we're 2 and 1 in the league uh, it's taking longer than I expected, but then it's a grindy deck. So let's start another and I'll go grab my uh, mighty. Good night, Victor.
let's go for something interesting or something that I could win fast. Huh. Opponent is going first. Uh, if I draw an untapped land, it's a turn one Sylvan library, and that's fine. Again, most of my hands are evaluated uh, by uh, how they can deal with uh, fair matchups. Uh, because if I'm facing something unfair, like whatever this is, uh, my game one is... Uh, I don't really have uh, many chances in game one. So it's either Storm or Reanimator, both bad matchups. Uh, they didn't really have... Uh, do this. Well, there goes my library. I think. Uh, mm, this is probably Storm. Uh, Reanimator, I don't think, plays the rest right now. Yeah. My hand is suddenly bad, but. And I need to play it over here. Unfortunately, if this is Storm, they will not walk into... Uh, looks like Storm, yeah. They will not walk into the Tabernacle going for Empty the Warrens because they already saw it. Uh, Two five mana. That's a lot of mana. So they can go for uh, whatever it's is it named. Fast in flames. Make a lot of mana. Duress me again. Storm count seven, nine, and ten will be dead. Not gonna make them go through it. So it's uh, Ad Nosem, and what can we do here? Ancient Tomb to be faster. Spheres and Chalices go in. Trackers go in. Uh, Warping Whales probably go in. I think I'll find something uh, I can cut for them. Explosives, I'll cut one. I can easily cut double pun fire, some loams. Uh, intuition is slow, but let's keep it for now. Um, mazes can easily leave. Caracas is unnecessary. Mm, glacial chasm sucks in this matchup. So as for the rest. This is fine. 32 lands. Do I want to go to 31? I probably do. So let's cut. Tranquil Ticket, Wasteland, Babs, Bog. Bio is the odd one. Hunt is a bad matchup, but post sideboard I have to aggressively mulligan and then I stand a chance. Especially if I get uh, some kind of hate on turn 1, like in this case. So I'm discarding Mishra's Factory for Mox Diamond, uh, going for... Uh, no, I think I'm discarding Grove. Mishra's Factory is a win condition if I don't get anything. And Mishra's Factory I go for on turn 1. So I can start wastelanding them on turn 2. So this is... Basically this is what I'm looking for uh, post sideboard. I want to be able to wasteland them. 
if they okay so that's they crack a fetch land so they're probably fetching an island and putting out some artifact mana okay that's pro for two life which means I'm casting Sylvan Library next turn and hoping that's also good. And I will probably be aggressively using it to get some uh, some cards that give me at least some chances. I would really love explosives here. Okay, so this lets me. So I need three mana for sphere, and I'm not really getting much else. So I can probably go for four. I'm keeping the sphere definitely, and this is using up all my mana here. I kind of want Trishad and Port to deny them mana even further when I will start hitting them with Mishra's factory. Okay, so put the Lyravest on top, pay 4 to keep Mishra and Port. Cast the second sphere, pass the top. I can intuition for. Uh, Okay, Chalice is great. I'm putting Chalice on two here if I can. So, okay, I need six mana for that one, two, three, four. I'm not getting there this turn. So, let's put Chalice on top. Let's Pay four to keep the line. Now there are several things here. First of all, they shouldn't have another basic. I don't think any of those lists run free basic lands. There's a sleepy dog next to my ne chair who's growling in her sleep. Uh, they shouldn't have a third basic yet, so we're wastelanding them to keep them. Uh, as far away from mana as possible. Let's get another mana source in. So if I can get Chalice on 2 next turn that would be amazing. I think I'm risking here. doing so much damage to myself but this should do it I think there is enough hate to stop multiple storm decks <laughs> on the table if they can get through this I'm not even mad <sighs> so uh, put on top Put on top. Play chalice for zero. 
basically just cutting off as many options they could have as possible and start beating down <laughs> this will take me a while and I am somewhat risking uh, to die to tendrils or something like that put on top put on top like this so I cannot cast chalice for two which means I'll need crucible and combo pieces I think Let's go to seven. What can we get here? I can actually go for triple tireless tracker. <laughs> or I can go for combo pieces. Or I can go for more heat. Academy Ruins oh, Crucible Sphere of Resistance Yeah Okay, now the tough part the third game on the draw. Uh, one fire seems so necessary here. I'll bring uh, life from the long back. That's not a great hand. Uh, there's some reasoning to keep it uh, if they don't have enough uh, basics, if they can't go off early enough and or if they don't have uh, this card, the sphere might just get there or the combo might get there with the help of wastelands. Uh, so I'm risking here. Let's go for the wasteland, make them uh, wary of fetching or something like that. Hopefully that's a brainstorm lock or something like that, or they will have to... Basically I just ex hope that they won't have any discard this turn or combo obviously. Well, <clears throat> that's unfortunate. On the bright side we get to wasteland them. And play Mishra's Factory, I think. I think I'm okay, now I have a chance. So here we uh, go for f 
forest activate mistress factory I think and just hope they are still on a brainstorm lock and won't draw more plants anytime soon this is wastelandable I highly prioritize uh, denying my opponent of any resources over uh, deploying tracker or going for the combo because uh, any clock I might deploy my the increase is just by a few turns only which in comparison to what they can do is pretty much negligible okay I might be dead if your storm opponent is sitting down and doing the math you're not in a good shape All they have will be something like ponder. That's bad. Okay, I'm probably dead here, I assume. Let dark petition getting six mana. Am I dead? Fast in flames. Storm count five, six, seven. Well, I tried. This is a bad matchup. If I would have drawn a single uh, hate piece earlier or something like that, they are at five mana. Oh, they can still cast the rest. Yeah. And then. Unfortunately, I'm dead. That makes my ant matchup 0 and 2 so far in the leagues. And let's go play the last match in the league. I don't think I could have done that much better there unless uh, my option would have been to mulligan aggressively for hate uh, for turn one hate piece but that's that's a risky option because uh, if they have this card for my singleton hate piece after mulligan I might just be dead Would I have won if I went for the combo instead of trying to wasteland them? I don't think so, but of course one cannot deny such possibility. In any case, I'm probably... Often I may be playing too careful, uh, I consider this more of a prison deck than the traditional combo or anything. This is slowish hand and if my shelter ticket gets wastelanded I'm in trouble but I think I'll keep it. So Grixis Delver, Grixis Delver most likely. Bitter boss, interesting. Okay, what am I playing against? And do they have days? I'm 
probably should have went with still one library and respect the days but uh, I'm not really willing to risk them landing Jace here I'm still curious as to what this matchup is another bitter blossom okay now there are multiple ways we can fuck them up and my favorite would be my clear favorite uh, would be drawing tabernacle That way I could probably uh, get them dead to their own bitter blossom. <laughs> okay, that hymn was amazing. You gotta admit it. Okay, so here I need to fed to crack the fetch. Uh, uh, there's no real advantage to casting a second Sylvan library, but there is a real advantage to porting their bio. And I wouldn't mind drawing something like explosives or a tutor for it, just uh, to be able to deal with the fairies. It's likely that they have uh, a birth decay. Yeah. I could have deployed my second Sylvan library, it turns out. So now we're dredging life from the loam with the hopes to get to uh, the tabernacle or a tutor for it. I'm getting hit down to 13, then down to 8. I think I have maybe two turns at most to find an answer to the fairies. Actually, Glacial Chasm would be a hilariously good answer. Tolaria is great. Tolaria grow misty. So let's go for grow and misty. Then cast the library, and I want to transmute with Talaria next turn. When they won't be suspecting it. Although transmuting this turn was an option. Now the question is what do I transmute for? Uh, Glacial Chasm actually sounds hilarious and is probably even better. Yep, glacial chasm it is. Mm. 
I don't really want to draw a land here which I could just fetch for they are not playing wastelands and it doesn't seem like they do so let's draw the first one <clears throat> draw the second one and draw the third one Putting this back and putting this back. Transmute. Get rid of the shelter to pick it. So now our goal will be to keep uh, looping double loam uh, to hit uh, to keep the glacial chasm alive. I'll pay once all right I had some bad cards in the forest uh, I don't need to rush anywhere could have as much as possible options Despian stage so now I should probably keep a uh, Despian stage and tap for glacial chasm chains and if they are not playing wasteland they are just pretty much dead here I will just assume that uh, at this point they are playing just to uh, see what they are against. Exploration. 
recycle the ticket, get back loan. get chasm ticket and where was the forest back so chasm is not legendary i can play one land Another land, third land, pass the turn. And the opponent is just slowly dying to their own bitter blossoms. They have any actual outs here? But they should probably just tolerate reverse for uh, explosives next turn. Uh, okay, so this is the one I'm not paying for, and I'll pay for this one. Uh, he cannot attack due to uh, this card. Uh, basically, it says I cannot attack, and all damage that will be dealt, dealt to me is prevented. So, basically, he can attack, but uh, it will not get him anywhere. So, let's stretch and not use the library. I'm just gonna try to save some time so blue blue and one transmute the talaria get and train it explosives play it for zero Get back ruin stage. Ticket. Dredge an Everlife from the loam. Uh, I can play two lands still. Yes. So. so, since I can play two more lands, let's get Thespian Stage, Wasteland, and a ticket. Spin stage and wasteland into play to be able to activate engineered explosives. So now I think I'm rather well protected, and my opponent has four turns before he dies. And they need answers uh, to multiple of my permanents during the same turn and. In addition to that, it's multiple lands, which is uh, difficult to interact in Legacy. I honestly don't need to do anything here. I can just... Uh, yeah, Delver is fine. I think I'm using explosives here at the end of turn. just to clear the board and not die accidentally to whatever I have no idea what random cards my opponent might have uh, copy the 
chasm. Um, let's just start drawing some cards. Exploration is fine. Okay, so next turn I'm dredging life from the loam. Mm, I'm transmuting for I forgot what, but there was something I intend. Oh, yet, yet another Thespian stage, so I could basically just uh, loop Thespian stages, copying glacial chasms during each upkeep, and just never have to pay for them. <coughs> for them, sorry. Um, I'll just cycle along. Um, yeah, let's give up on some life. And get back Chasm, Polaria, Tick. an untapped source uh, so let's just get get another chasm to play and sacrifice port I mean at this point the point is just basically trying to uh, win some time You have some time advantage for previous uh, for the next two games so I think I should just kill them with punishing fires next turn or turn after that Abrupt decay pretty much irrelevant have to win the second game as well um, yeah let's dredge life from the loan and refuse to use Silvan library Try to finish this match faster. So, wasteland stage. Uh, rainforest doesn't get me anything. And let's say wasteland. So, let's play ticket stage. Wasteland. I cannot kill them this turn yet, but that's not really an issue. So my opponent is just trying to uh, have some time advantage. Uh, for games 2 and 3 and that's it uh, 
fire you. one, do not return the other one, <clears throat> and during that keep just on fire again. Okay. So this is a kind of bug delver with bitter blossoms. I haven't seen wastelands, but the fact that they played for a long time uh, indicates that they might have some. Uh, in any case, chalices seem to be good. Uh, tireless trackers seem to be good. I probably want a random cross and grip because I have no idea what I will face. Uh, double loam is going out. Uh, mazes are fine. Glacial chasm seems to be fine because they didn't answer it in the previous game. A port, especially on the draw, is not spectacular. I can cut the Neverland, I think, and that will be. Uh, another port so now regarding other cards uh, I'll cut another chalice because they didn't seem that good and I'll cut one intuition because uh, if they have Leyline of the Void as their graver to uh, hate uh, I may not be able to uh, intuition for anything really good I think this configuration seems fine let's go This matchup should be in my favor, but this will also depend on uh, both of our draws and uh, what graveyard hit they are playing. Leyline is probably the most difficult for me to deal with. don't really like this one thank you for following uh, if they have a turn one discard and hit my mox diamond I'm in this bad shape but other than that this hand has card advantage disruption acceleration I'll keep it death right would be the most annoying or Fotsis. Yeah, if they discard my Mox Diamond, they are in a good shape. I'm not sure if I would be discarding uh, Mox Diamond here myself because uh, even though lands are. Uh, even though lands don't really have that many green mana sources, if, they, if you discard Mox Diamond, then they just get a new one you wasted your discard spell uh, regarding timing out yeah this is why you don't discard most diamond <laughs> okay so uh, regarding timing out I don't really time out that much uh, I have to cast exploration first in case they have days uh, I don't 
time out that much myself, but I timed out I think once and uh, this is my 35th uh, match in the leagues. Uh, it's possible to time out especially if the matches uh, are really grindy, but I uh, think I'm playing the tracker here. I have to try and get some edict. Okay, uh, no more mana sources for them, which basically means I need to draw something like explosives and I'm in more than a good shape. Go down to 16, fetch a red source, get another clue. Crack a clue. Mm, exploration isn't really something I want, but let's get that down. And unless their delvers, their second delver flips immediately, I think I may even be able to race them. Hopefully, it's not a land, but a creature. I should be winning this race. And that land. Uh, well, maze is really good here. So let's cycle the ticket. Get maze. And now I'm ahead in the race. So now, uh, if their Delver flips, uh, okay, it doesn't flip, so if that's not a land, I'm winning. Uh, if this game would have gone this in a similar way as the first one, uh, I would be at risk of timing out, especially if we go to game three. But now I think uh, with them drawing only two lands and getting wastelanded out of the game because uh, usually in legacy delver decks uh, don't play uh, basic lands uh, at all uh, they usually play something like uh, 18 lands often uh, multiple wastelands and they simply cannot afford to have a uh, single colored sources Okay, if they draw a land next turn, I'm at risk of losing my tracker. Um, unless they have force of will, I'm winning here. They kind of have to jump here. If they force of will, they lose the option of uh, fetching for a land. So that end up, ends up the league 3 and 2. Uh, regarding this list, uh, I really like playing Sylvan Libraries instead of the standard, I would say, crop rotation. I really felt the need for more card advantage engines uh, because you way too often I would use the match uh, to uh, not drawing any business spells uh, mm -hmm. crop rotation though is really good when you need something as soon as possible so I do sacrifice a little bit of speed but uh, this uh, is again mostly a prison deck and speed mm -hmm. is not really something uh, I'm aiming for Warping Whales in the sideboard are aimed for our worst matchups, but so far I didn't uh, draw them and I'm 
I might just uh, sacrifice these matchups and go with uh, additional spheres or something like that. Uh, basically, cards that could be useful in more matchups uh, and or something tutorable. Uh, because, well, uh, as a two of that I cannot tutor for, they are. Mm, unlikely to be drawn on time in the matches here well let's uh, just I will update my match excel and let's open the chest and that's yet another empty chest <laughs> as usual so uh, thank you everyone who watched and that's it for me for tonight I will try to stream maybe tomorrow maybe on Wednesday and that's it good night